Hello guys, this is Hector Fernandez. Um, I am doing a review um, for the iPhone 11 and its functionalities today. Something a little bit different. Um, it isn't any different than... You see, I know my case is dirty. I just got it the other day with the iPhone. They uh, had it. And so, since this was a high brass phone, the 11 Pro, um, it's the same thing, but different features. Look, you notice on the other iPhone, you had the thumbprint, the XR, the XR had, uh, the iPhone X and after the 8 they updated it um they updated it a lot so the only way it's the same as the other one the same as the other one it's got um the hell so um so basically these iPhone 11s are expensive and the only reason is the iPhone 11s uh all the other iPhones the older iPhones are slowing down is because of the iPhone 11 and uh, other newer iPhones. Like, I've noticed a significant change with the iPhone 8. It was slow. The thing was slow, but it had wireless charging. Same with this. They kept the same principle in this. You, um, IQ something, charger, I Q certified it has to the lenses I just got done cleaning I clean I wiped them down to make sure everything was good um so um to turn the phone off basic function turn the phone off you hit I know this is a little bit different than the other iPhones um to turn the iPhone off, you do that, and it has both. So it has both. Um, right now, but with that, hold on, hold on, let me press cancel. Um, something interesting that they didn't change, I think is something different um they change let me go into that power setting see you swipe it like that but your sos will be in case of an emergency situation and you can't get to your phone quickly you can press those two buttons to call the police and the police will you send out an SOS a uh, distress signal and anyways let me show you how to power this thing off on you press this or yeah you press the same button same button but powering it off is different you're going to press the up button on your phone, your 11. You're going to put the up button on your 11. And also, if you have a PIN number, it's more safer that way. Once, once I get the PIN number activated. And also, guys... If you try to pick up someone else's 11 and you're not registered in the phone, 
you're not getting in. Simple as that. Let me show you what it does. So see this? I know it's flashing for some reason. What the hell? I'll look at the video. See this? How it's locked? You're going to flip it over. And now it's unlocked. Here. See? It's got a facial recognition thing. In the settings, I'll show you the settings. Uh, also, what's cool about the iPhone 11, Face ID and passcodes right here. Face. It, it only flashes when it's when it's not facing you. I don't know what that is, but uh, the iPhone 11 uh, does some weird stuff. But um, no, I don't want to even touch that. Uh, so you got all in one setting. You've got your you can go you can use uh, with the iPhones, you can all iPhones, sixes, um, I believe the five C's have them. Um, and also with this, with facial recognition, on the App Store, the Apple Store, the App Store, you can actually uh, download items a lot quicker. But if, let's say, someone's trying to mess with your, um, your stuff and they get into your phone somehow, some way, you can, uh, the phone will actually, if their face don't match, if their face don't match, it will lock itself up. The thing will say, oh, give me the passcode for it. So that way, Apple was actually thinking before they released this phone, thinking really hard. This is a good design. Uh, now, with everything else on this iPhone, uh, the Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi was saved. I had auto backup on the phone. I had auto backup on the phone. So... Um, go to phone storage. I don't know the backup is, but, uh, the backup system. And I know this, um, Apple... I don't know if they're going to make another iPhone anytime soon. So it might be a couple years. Like maybe 12 years. Maybe, maybe more. It shouldn't take that long. Maybe two years until they make another iPhone. That can do more stuff. But this is pretty cool. Um, my whole phone smells like Clorox. I wiped it down with Clorox. Uh, it's blinking at me for some reason. Blinking out the screen every time I face it. But everything's here. Um, and also with this, you can manually shut this down. You were able to do this with other iPhones. They kept that feature. They didn't keep the thumbprint. They replaced the thumbprint with your facial recognition. And they also... Um, uh, you guys might ask what case I'm using. I'm using... Casing uh, Defender Series. Otter. They don't pay me to do this. Uh, I'm just doing this to get monof monetized so I can get some money through my YouTube so I can get qualified to, um, I will be doing more YouTube videos. Uh, this, 
this uh, whole video, this whole video is, I love Otterbox. They don't pay me to say this. Good company if you want a good phone case. $60, worth it. That otter, this otter box is uh, for the 11. I don't know if it can fit the 11 Pro. No, it cannot fit the 11 Pro. It would say it right on the box specifications of the box. Uh, it would tell you what the specs are drop protection multi uh surface protectors uh back in the day when i had my six plus or yeah it was six or seven back in the day when i had my six plus i had a full screen protector on it i don't know what happened why Otterbox decided, oh, we're not gonna. And it comes with the belt clip. Let me show you. Uh, belt clip. It comes with that. Let me go get it. Hold on, guys. I gotta grab it off my bed. Um, comes with the belt clip. You can either choose you can either choose to choose to uh, clip it like this on your belt like this or in case you're you know eh, and it's always best on a rainy day to flip the screen around and also I don't know if you're gonna see this but also put it like this lock it in place it will it will um uh it will uh you know if you have a backpack and you want to strap it like that, like I, what I have right up here, I got a, I got an outdoor bag. If you want to strap this to your back, to your front of your bag, so you can reach it and pull it out if you have to make a phone call or anything, you can with the OtterBox. And also, you flip this around. You flip this around. And you uh, have it locked in place. You hear it click. Come on. I can do it with the middle finger more easy. Can't do this with my pointing finger. Uh, when it locks in place. When it locks in place. See that? That's the release for it. Um, guys, that's it. Um, the iPhone 11 downloads pretty fast. Uh, this is the 64 version. If you look online, more specs are online. Uh, um, the iPhone actually came in this case. The 11 came in this case. I got it at the store. Not the Apple store, but the phone store. And it actually comes like this. It comes with the usual SIM card remover, directions, stickers. Uh, I have no clue. But, um... Uh, yeah, SIM card remover should be in there. What the hell? Ah, it's right here, dude. Guys, it's right here. Inside. Now it actually tells you how to remove your SIM card. So, 
you go to the side of the phone you have if you have a case on it take it off if you're going to pull your sims card out for any reason you're switching companies and you, the guy has to look at it or where you're handing your phone off to someone else and you're selling it and selling your iphone i what i recommend that you do if you're going to sell your iphone before paying it off ask for what the phone company is asking for do not i pay i i sold a six plus one time to a guy to a guy and uh he offered me 250 I had to pay $306. It wasn't that bad. So the phone company gave me a word of advice. Don't sell it unless you got it paid off or you're willing to get the money, half the money up front for it. Because literally phone companies can track the phones. If you do not have the phones paid for, they can send out debt collectors they can sue you. They can They can do whatever they want. But never play around with cell phones. Um, they can say you didn't fully pay for it. I fully paid for my 8. So I traded it in for for a brand new brand new phone. Uh now. Um I do have my Gmail through Sprint. Through Sprint. If I can get in and deactivate, request deactivation, I can. But the only problem is I'm worried about that other device. That's the only problem. Anyways, subscribe if you like this content. I really like this phone. It's got a good camera, me and my brother. I'm not going to say his name. He requested me not to say anything on these videos. Um, it's really none of you guys' business. Uh, not trying to be evil or mean. It's just that I don't give out private information. Uh, well, now, uh, subscribe to this channel. And y'all have a pleasant day. God bless.